Cześć wszystkim! To znowu po 7. A dzisiaj... Dalszy ciąg arkanum. Wchodzimy do tej chatki... No, ktoś tu mieszka. Czarodziej. Podejrzliwy czarodziej. Witam. I did not choose to live on this island for its ambiance. I chose it so I wouldn't have to entertain fools. Leave me be. Spokój się, wcale nie chcę ci przeszkadzać, ale szukam pewnego grobu. That is quite the fool's journey just to find someone's dead body. I'm afraid to ask, but whose grave would you be looking for? Poszukaj miejsca wiecznego spoczynku Nazrudina. Of course. Searching for the great Nazruddin. Ha! The great Nazruddin. What was so great about him? Damned fool, if you ask me. Dasz na niego zawzięty na tego staruszka. What? How dare you, old man? Do you have any idea who you're talking about? Nazruddin was the wisest and most benevolent elf in the history of our kingdom. He saved us all, and that includes you. So I recommend you keep your comments to yourself. Okay, czas na parę wojen religijnych. Dawaj, Virgil, lajesz! Nie daj sobie pomiatać. Nazruddin would have had more patience with men of your kind, and so will I. I don't have to defend him. Tak, dobry dobry argument, to wiedział, bardzo dobry. Oh, of course you don't have to defend him, young man. The old elf was completely incorrigible. There's no defense whatsoever for individuals of such low character as he. You've chosen well not to waste your words on the likes of Nazruddin. Tak, właśnie mi się wyświetliło, że on jest Nazruddinem. Więc gro trochę za wcześnie to spojrujesz, ale... Ta, Nazrudin, trochę dobierz lepszych argumentów, jeżeli chcesz obrażać samego siebie. You're testing my patience, old man. Another bad word about Nazrudin, and it might just be the last one you say on both feet. Do we understand one of them? Oh, Virgil. Takiego cię nie znałem. Uh, Virgil. Perhaps you ought to keep your voice down with our new friend here. Ah, now there's the voice of reason, and from such a beautiful young elf. You know, in my younger days, I knew a girl who looked a lot like you. She had the most wonderful name. Let me see, what was it? I suppose it would translate to something like the Silver One. Hmm. Yes, I also know someone like that. She used to tell me about a great man she once knew. She told me that he taught her a great many things. That he was much like her own father. Hmm. Ah, yes. Make sure to pass on my greetings to your mother. She was such a wonderful child, and it seems she has a wonderful daughter as well. Greetings, Princess Raven. Ah, więc on znał srebrną królową coś tam. Okay. I will pass on your greetings to her. It will make her very happy to know you are here among us. Greetings, Nazarene. Nie! To jest Nazrudin? Jak to możliwe? I would say in all my glory, but I'm afraid I haven't any left. Chcesz jesteś Nazrudin? Uratowałeś świat przed Aronaxem. No. I delivered the world to Aronax. I put in place the system that he felt was his for the taking. I even imparted my elven arrogance to him. I must bear full responsibility for his actions. Trochę dramatyzujesz, nie sądzisz? Czy Naronaxa był jego własnym wyborem? You do not understand. He was my son. Oh. I taught him everything. Only to see him be carried away by his youthful temper. I should have seen it. There must have been a way to stop him before it came to what it did. Tyle już legend mi opowiedziano. Czy możesz mi powiedzieć, co naprawdę się wydarzyło? It started in the age of legends. I was young, headstrong. I thought I could take on the world, and I did. I fought the good fight to protect the lesser races, as I arrogantly called them, from the chaos that raged everywhere. Dragons, demons, evil sorcerers, I fought them all and won. And this, all before even the days of the Elven Council. 
W jaki sposób powstała Rada Elfów? I gathered a group of idealistic mages together and we created an Elven Council for the good of all. We really believe that. For a time, I suppose it was even true. I really believe things began to change when we discovered a way to banish things from this plane of existence. Dlaczego? It was the ultimate weapon. Once something was banished from this plane of existence, it could never return. With ultimate power comes ultimate responsibility and ultimate corruption. We were quick to use it on new and ever more terrible threats: the bane of Creed, Krakatoa, Gorgoth, Kurgan. What is that, Anaxem? Co Aranax ma z tym wspólnego? Sometime during all this heroic carnage, my son came of age. I quickly ushered him into the council amid some of the others' protest about his young age and inexperience. And then it all came crashing down upon me. Look, are you certain you really want to hear all this self-pitying drivel? Oczywiście, a więc co takiego strasznego zrobił Aranax? He felt himself betrayed when the council condemned his actions. He showed no remorse. In his arrogance, he was sure he would be vindicated. I cast the deciding vote to banish my own son. If I must die, I will be the last. He screamed as he hurled the spell that brought an end to the council, the age of legends, and my will to live. It was a harsh dawn that morning on the plains of Brodgar. And it was there, in the shadow of the Black Spire, that our armies met in the most terrible battle that our kingdom has ever seen. As the sun set, only four of us were still alive to witness the destruction we had brought to pass. I found Aranax among the corpses of our decimated armies, and it was there that I condemned my own son to the void. That Aranax was subdued, and I watched my own son fall into the horror of the void. But such was the fury and power unleashed by this conflict that the very fabric of reality was torn asunder. With our remaining energy, we were able to seal the rift with powerful wards, and the Ring of Brodgar still stands today as a monument to my son's destructive pride and my own unforgivable failure. When I regained consciousness. I was on the shore of Thanatos. I'd regained just enough energy to seal myself in a regenerative shell. I remained that way for a thousand years. No one had ever stayed in a shell for anywhere near that amount of time. Somehow, my magical hibernation extended my life much beyond that of even the most powerful elven mages. Hmm. Ciekawe. Dlaczego ukryłeś się tu na tysiąc lat? It only serves to remind me of my failure. Everyone I knew, everything I held dear, is gone. I myself should have died long ago. Besides, I do not fancy being worshipped as a god. Vesha Panari? I'm well aware of the whole Panari tomfoolery. Yes. When I emerged from my regenerative state, I travelled to the mainland. But I suppose I thought I could somehow live among the world again. After I spoke with that Manix fellow, I knew I was deluding myself. Hmm. You told me. Did you tell me about how the Panari were created? Did you tell me about how the Panari were created? He did not know much. Mostly some fanciful notions mixed with bits and pieces of history. As near as I was able to put together from speaking with him, Crin Orden, 
The last surviving member of the Council started the Panare simply to maintain the wards. To periodically strengthen them, as it were. Hmm, did After I listened to his insane beliefs for what seemed like hours, I hinted that I had actually known Nasruddin. He was already too far gone. He would not have believed any of my protests or denials of my godhood. He most likely would have interpreted the whole thing as some sort of test, I suppose. Oni uważał, że wierzą, że jestem twoją reinkarnacją. I pity you then. I received a taste of their hero worship from Manix, and I can tell you, I didn't like the taste of it one bit. Ciekawy punkt widzenia. Hold on there. Do you two realize exactly what you're talking about here? Perhaps this is an interesting philosophical debate for you two. But we're talking about the foundations of the Panari religion here. To chyba nie jest odpowiednia chwila. I mean, if you're not dead, that means you're not his reincarnation. Oh, spitne! Tak! Where the bloody does that leave the rest of us? Are any of the prophecies true? Have all of us Panari just been running around half-cocked for the last two thousand years? Easy, young Virgil. I know how all of this must make you feel. And I apologize for making light of your beliefs. Unfortunately, I don't have the answers you're seeking. I mean no disrespect, Nasruddin, but if you don't have any idea as to what's going on here, then you'll forgive me if I'm having a few doubts concerning the validity of my newfound religion. Okay. <laughs> Good, Virgil. If there is one thing in life that one must learn, it is to question everything. In the end, I'm sure you will have the answers that you seek. And whether or not this is all the fulfillment of a prophecy or just random chance, does it change the gravity of our situation? Would you do anything differently if you knew one way or the other? Hmm. Właśnie, Virgil. No, I wouldn't. And I will see this until the end, regardless of the reasons behind it. Thank you, Nasruddin. At the very least, your wisdom warrants a religious movement. Even if its followers tend to be a bit soft in the head. I'm just embarrassed. As for me, I just listen. Blah 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 blah. I feel as if I've been waiting to hear those words since I awoke those many years ago. I had hoped it would never come to this. Why, Aranax? Why can't you see the folly of the path you've chosen? What are you going to do about this situation? So I'm going to do it. Ale z twoim synem, co ty zamierzasz zrobić? I fear there is nothing I can do. I am old, tired. I do not believe I could stand up against my son now, even if I could find the heart to try. Jak to jest możliwe, że po tylu latach on wciąż jest taki potężny? We do not know what life in the void is like, if it can be even called life. Who knows what sources of power could be found on the other side? Cóż, musi być jakiś sposób, żeby go powstrzymać. I can think of only one possible strategy to defeat him now. You must retrieve the Vendigroth device that was meant to destroy him. Urządzenie jest Vendigroth. Mówię, że Vendigroth został zniszczony. And so it was above ground. There are many catacombs and tunnels lying beneath the surface. Some of the members attempted to retrieve it to use against Aranax, but they never returned. We were forced to battle him without it, and you know the consequence of that. Ta, ta odpowiedź jest śmieszna. A dobra, jak działa to urządzenie? Extremely powerful mages have the ability to regenerate themselves whenever they are badly hurt, as I did. If one is powerful enough to hurt a master sorcerer gravely. The mage will retreat into his regenerative shell and emerge stronger than ever. The device is the only way known to disrupt the regenerating shield. I zakłócenie osłony zabija znajdującego się w środku maga? Quite so. The technology of the device is designed to disrupt the field in such a way as to cause the shell to drain the life force instead of regenerating it. Quite gruesome to contemplate, actually. Further. It is said that one who is killed in this manner is forever separated from this world, with no chance of being returned magically or otherwise. Okay, skoro już wtedy mieliście to urządzenie, to czemu nadal próbowaliście go wygnać, zamiast jego użyć? 
Dobra, nieważne. Jak mam znaleźć to urządzenie? No okej. Okay. To było w miarę oczywiste. A może ty go znajdziesz? Chwila, chwila, chwila. Chcesz mnie wygrać, wygnać do otchłani? Dobra, gdzie znajdę te ruiny w Endigrod? Okej, no... No to czeka nas trochę więcej po przeszukiwania tajemnych katakumb. No cóż, czas ruszyć do Wendigrod. To tyle, tak? Nie, jeszcze nie. Ta. Możemy również zabić się na Zrudina. Nie będzie to zbyt ładne. Ale jednocześnie zabicie go jakimś tajemniczym, magicznym sposobem otworzy drzwi do otchłani. I no, wtedy od razu byśmy się dostali do otchłani, ale, ale po co sobie przyspieszać grę? Poszukajmy najpierw tego Bendy Grot. Nadzi, że mam jeszcze parę innych rzeczy do robienia. Do zrobienia wcześniej. A możemy odwiedzić też tą wioskę. Dziwną jakąś. Na miejsce spoczynku na Zrudina. Tylko szkoda, że nie mogę się stąd nigdzie wydostać. A nie chce mi się... A nie chce mi się przechodzić przez to przejście od początku. Byłbym niezwyk byłem niezwykle pewien, że da się, da się przez to przejść mapą. I wygląda na to, że nie. Dobra. Troszkę sobie porozmawialiśmy. W następnym odcinku pójdziemy do tej wioski, splądrujemy ją, zbierzemy wszelkie magiczne rzeczy, jakie tam znajdziemy i wrócimy na kontynent. Szukając Wendigrot. Nie, nie, nie poszukamy Wendigrot. Wcześniej musimy jeszcze, nie musimy, ale, ale ja chcę o, odbić, odbyć wszystkie błogosławieństwa do Bożków Arkanum. E, no i chyba tyle. Nie przypominam sobie, żebyśmy mieli jeszcze jakieś inne zadania do zrobienia. Więc, póki co, dziękuję wszystkim za uwagę. No i na razie. Cześć.